Sufferables with cats who drive cars and you know what this was a good tune like it made me laugh i'm sure that was part of the point but you know man who else thought like b52s and uh fred snyder man <laughs> like, absolutely you know, like, <laughs> so yeah really really dug the tune on those principles alone like i think that was a that was a cool tune I, like i said it made me laugh and smile like i really got into it so like really well done the insufferables Guys, yeah, you you got to laugh at the title like that. That that's very very funny. Um, I was also reminded a little bit of uh, early Talking Heads. That kind of yeah, nice weirdness that David would do. Uh, fun tune. I liked it. I did too. I I like this band anyway. I've liked everything that they've submitted, and this is no exception. Um, he, yeah, it just it was quirky, and I liked it. <laughs> You know, and it's funny when you sing the sing the cat can see your lap because uh, Freya, my younger cat, if a woman when I take her to the vet, you know, I always see her up in the cage with me, but I can let her out in the back seat because she'll climb around and she actually will come and lie on my lap when I'm driving. <laughs> so, but there's sometimes you got to be careful because she does like to get a little uh, a little venturous, and obviously it's a problem when she gets close to going under your feet. So. <laughs> Yeah, not good. But other than that, no, she's she's pretty good, and she uh, is uh, one of the, one of the three animals that they have that doesn't mind the vet. Why it's the only one who does is not a big fan of it. Like it, it's easy to get him because he's so big, obviously. <laughs> but uh, yeah, Will and Frey have no issues. So I just I just thought of that just because of the song, you know, cats who drive and like, and you know I. I it's I can I can I can picture the, actually as bad as it sounds I can picture how like how like my cats may be driving a car and what the reactions would be just because just based on their personalities. <laughs> so yeah, it, it makes you think a little bit, especially if you got nothing to do at all, right? So, <laughs> so we're gonna get to the last song on this compilation, and it's by a guy named Marty McPherson. The song's called "Do You Remember." Dig this. Sick of going to bed alone. Someone, please tell me where I went wrong. I'm tired of living life alone. What wasn't good. When we could not 
stop I'm so alone now and what the hell for For trying, for being the personified I'm tired of fighting, tired of acting Like it's not broken me I'm tired of fighting, tired of this But the truth is You were everything to me But the truth is You were My soul, my heart You didn't even watch my life fall apart It was like a switch went off in your head Now it's clear the one I loved is dead You broke my mind, my soul, my heart You didn't even watch my life fall apart It was like a switch went off in your head Now it's clear the one I loved is dead Yeah, with all you put me through I always try to do the right thing I always try to be the man you want Marty McPherson, do you remember? Uh, definitely a heartfelt too, that's for sure. Uh, well, he he really really he really told us what he, how he felt. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah. It was. I was a decent tune. Yeah. He was. It was as you said. It was very emotional and obviously meant a lot to him. Um. He had some interesting song structure ideas in there. Um. I think it was a good tune. Yeah. Some interesting change up. You know, I have to say, with a song like this. So deeply personal. I always wonder: Is this something that's autobiographical? Is he writing about something that actually happened? Right. And I always give people credit for having, for being brave enough to put themselves out there. I mean, or you know, sometimes when writers write something like that, it's uh, more of a scenario, a storyline. But right. So th that would be interesting for me to know. But yeah. You know, no, that's a that's a that's a good point. I actually never thought of it that way. So. Next up, we're going to get to a band. Like I said, we're going to have uh, some older tunes, but not too, too old. But uh, I'm trying to reintroduce some uh, songs people haven't heard in a while or haven't heard the band at all. And this band we're going to play here in just a second. Uh, the singer's been on uh, a bunch of times on the show, and he's fantastic. The band is really cool. This is the Dead Sea Navigators, and it's called Funeral in Berlin. Dig this. Thank you, Shane. Damen und Herren, Ladies and Gentlemen, this is Fino in Berlin.
Dead Sea Navigators. It's been a long time since we played them, and man, this is still one of my favorite bands. And the song is called Funeral in Berlin, and I love it just because <clears throat> it's got they're in a club, so it's obviously got the like, club feel to it. And just uh, <clears throat> uh, Steph's vocals are always like really cool and very unique and kind of like deep monotone, but he's got a, a quite quite the range as well. And uh, the, the the whole song together, I mean, they just worked so well and I really really dig the song yeah that was a really interesting <laughs> tune I like the changes they had um, great vocals I, I like the, the kind of cabaret feel they had going on um, great tune yeah really really moody stuff I mean it just you can just see the atmosphere that's surrounding them and yeah this they're such a classy band I, lo I love everything about them I mean they just it's well written it's well performed it's innovative I it was great yeah you know what and like I said <clears throat> I'm always partial to them because uh, like and like his step has always been very good to me like by sending me like CDs in the mail and uh, he did the very first intro for for uh, my show which was awesome and he also uh, gave me uh, sent me an mv3 like introduction uh, for the show as well and uh, so he got credit. I definitely give him huge props for that, and that was awesome. I still remember getting emails like, "Well, what'd you think if I did a jingle for you?" I was like, "What? Oh, f yeah, that'd be awesome!" You know? <laughs> <laughs> and, and he sends it to me. He goes, and he goes, "Well, listen to this." It's like, like that's really cool. And he's like, and I so I emailed him back. It's like, well, you know, it's really cool. So I got ace. He's like, yeah, yeah, I kind of the ace feel to it, but it's, uh, it's still good. And and uh, he goes, "You happy with that?" It's like, yeah, you sure. He's like, yeah, well, you know, it's awesome. It's like, oh, like, okay, great. Perfect, but uh, if you want another one, let me know. And uh, yeah, so we've been very virtual with that. Between him and Lord Num, like, wow, we've been, it's been awesome, right? Yeah, pretty yeah. So that's going to do it for part one of NMS, and we'll be back in about five, ten minutes with part two. Until then, we'll be right back. Bones out. <laughs> 